Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of October 12th through the 19th. So we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Libra, October 12th through the 19th. Happy birthday, if it's your birthday. The 16th is the new moon, so that's a big day. Oh, it's supposed to be a very intense day. So if you're born on October 16th, you're probably going to be experiencing a very intense day. There's supposed to be a lot of uh, things happening on that day. A lot of uh, strong, um, even combative energy. But anyway, what do we have for Libra for the week of the 12th through the 19th? Throne, position of authority. So you may be put in a position of authority this week. Not unsuccessful plans. That's the one that flew out. Pig, beware of greed. Now, you've had this quite a bit. You definitely have somebody that is, I don't think it's you. I really don't. I don't. For some reason, I don't think this is you. I think it is somebody else. Okay, I just, I feel very strongly that's not you. Anyhow, I feel like you are in a position of authority and somebody doesn't like it. They want that position of authority. This is a greedy individual. There's going to be some unsuccessful plans here for some reason. I don't want to say they're yours. I really don't. I don't know why. I, there is going to be some unsuccessful plans, whether they're yours or the other person's, I don't know. So, what do we have for Libra for the week of October 12th to the 19th? King of Wands, you could be dealing with a father figure, a boss, somebody that is in a position of authority, okay? Um... This could represent a father. Usually it's a masculine, could be a feminine. It feels like it's a mother or a father, okay? It could be a mother or a father or a boss. This is somebody that is given to take action. This is somebody that is a decision maker, makes a decision, takes action, doesn't. You can't change their mind. This is somebody that you cannot change their mind. <coughs> Five of Swords to me is, is walking away. Somebody's walking away. They may have been pushed away. Um, they're sick of the fighting. They don't want to fight anymore, so they're leaving. So somebody could be leaving. <coughs> Excuse me, just had to take a drink. There could be a fight that causes somebody to leave. This is a battle, okay? This is being defeated, walking away. This is non-negotiable. It definitely is non-negotiable with both of these cards. Once this person's mind is made up, you can't change their mind. This person is in a position of authority. Somebody is leaving. There's not one damn thing you can do about it. Um, you know? And that may be why the, the unsuccessful plans are here. It looks like we have some casualties. Okay, there's some casualties here. There's there's some sort of um, battle. One person may not have made it. This person may be sad. So, you know, um, interesting. This person appears to um, be able to... There is another casualty over here as well. This person is sad. There's, there's, there's no, there's, the best thing to do is not fight. The best thing to do is just keep your mouth shut. So interesting. Um, there's a decision that is being made against you. There's nothing you can do. Okay. This is a non-negotiable situation. 
Three, no working together, no teamwork, lack of respect. Whoever you're dealing with lacks respect for others. Um, does not work well as a team. Um, is in a position of authority. This is a boss. Doesn't want to work with anybody. It's their way or the highway. Nine of Cups reversed. Now this is very dissatisfied, not happy with an outcome. Somebody's not happy, but there's nothing that can be done. Uh, there's going to be a lot of memories here, uh, memories of the past. Um, this could, there's some sort of um, nostalgia, but I feel like there's tears as well. I think there's tears that are going to be shed. Now the Six of Cups reversed is is packing up, leaving home, coming out of rehab, so selective memory. Um, clinging to the past, clinging to the memories, um, crying a lot, crying over the past, um, only remembering the good times. That's the selective memory. There could be some child abuse, abuse here with the Six of Cups. Somebody may have neglect because there's some sort of neglect, neglected as a child, which may have impacted your life. You know, that definitely does impact a life. The Nine of Cups reverse is lack of wish fulfillment. That's your unsuccessful plans. You are dealing with somebody that is in a position of authority that is disrespectful to your needs. Now, this is a mother or a father figure, I believe. It's not about what you want. It's about what they want. And if it's not a mother or a father, it's a boss, okay? Or a husband or a wife. It's somebody that um, is very, very self-righteous. This person does not want to listen to anything that you have to say at this point. They don't want to put in any more effort. They're not happy. They are very strong-willed and they're done fighting. They're really, because this is done fighting. This is, this is like a fight. This is done fighting. The five of wands comes between this. We have somebody here that is all done. They're all done. They don't want to fight anymore. So the best thing for them to do is to retreat, to retreat, to end you know, to stop, to, to go someplace else. Somebody's, somebody's leaving. It feels like they're leaving your life. Um, now the strength card is about, you will need the strength to persevere over this. You, it feels like you're going to need the strength. Now I'm not sure if you, you could be dealing with a Leo. We could be dealing with an Aries, a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Now this is a very strong willed individual. This person does not want to compromise. Their mind is made up. Their mind is made up. They're not going back. There's been a lot of pettiness. There's been a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting. But this person it has decided. It's almost like to exit in grace. You know, it's like a graceful departure of some sort. I'm not sure what that means. But this strength card is somebody that enjoys the power that they have. This is somebody that is very, very controlling. This is also a card of bravery. Okay, so having no fear. So we got this person that is making a decision. Very, It's a courageous decision. So this person has a lot of courage. They're ready to face their fears. And if it means that they have to separate, if it means that they have to disengage, then that's what they have to do. Somebody's going to be disengaging. They're breaking free from a toxic situation. And that could be your energy. It could be. So somebody who gets this vision, gets this desire, they see something and they go for it. Okay, it's like they see the light, they go for it. The devil reverse is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation that, that has been nothing but a disaster from, you know, day 10 or whatever, you know, day 15. <laughs> you might as well say day 15, right? You know, it was a disaster. Anyhow, um, started out real good. It was, it was great in the beginning, but then, you know, went downhill really, really fast. This person is very materialistic, very egotistical. Um, was very greedy or is very greedy, obsessed with possessions. Uh, um, so whoever you're dealing with um, is obsessed. There's some sort of obsession here. 
obsessed with control. We got obsessed with control here. So you, some, we, we do. So we got somebody here. This may be like a control freak. Whoever this person is, you're not going to be working with this person anymore. You're not going to be. There's going to be a severing of ties. Ties are going to be severed with this person. I feel like it's bittersweet though. I do. I feel like it's bittersweet. I think you're not going to, you know, even though that there's been a lot of problems with this person and a lot of fighting, I feel like you're going to be sad. I think there's tears or sadness that is going to be shed over this. Um, now this is coming out of restriction, coming out of confinement, an obstacle being removed. You're free. You're free. This is freedom. You don't you don't have to be, go through this anymore. This may be job related. I think you're dealing with somebody that is very greedy. I don't think it's you. I just I just don't. I feel like uh you have been trapped in this person's uh I don't know, layer. You've been trapped in this person's uh, circle. You know what I mean? It's like you've been trapped in their, it's their, their circle. You've been tied to this situation. But remember I said severing of ties. Ties are going to be severed with an individual that, I don't know. I don't know if you grew up with this person. I don't know who this person. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. You're severing ties with somebody. You are. I, I, and I feel like it's just because you don't see eye to eye with this person at all. This person doesn't won't listen to anybody. Nobody. It's it, They're definitely somebody that you cannot negotiate with. And I feel like this person is naive as well. Even though this person um, is is typically, uh, it's hard to say. This person is intelligent. They're naive. It's you know, there's two sides to every coin. So this person isn't always the brightest bulb in the pack. This person tends to act out of you know their passions rather than their smarts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but. That's what I see. And I feel like it's that's what been, been one of the biggest battles that you've had with this person. Anyway, this battle is over. Okay? This is victory after sorrow. Okay? The fight is over. The battle is over. This person is is deciding not to fight anymore. Okay? They're deciding that they don't want to fight anymore. They don't have any fight left. They don't want to fight anymore. So this person is giving up the fight. They're doing it gracefully as well. It's almost like they turn their back and they walk away. So somebody is walking away and I think it's good for you. I think it's good for you because it's going to break you free from any sort of mental turmoil. You know, you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's over. It's over. So you're going to be broken free from a situation that... You know, wasn't very comfortable. It made you uncomfortable to even go there. You know what I mean? Now you're being broken free from it. You don't have to go there anymore. Whatever that means. Um, moving. Moving. Moving in a new direction. Getting in the driver's seat. Getting in that throne. Now you're in the driver's seat. So you're, you're, you're taking the lead. You're taking the position. You're getting the position of authority. Now the position is going to be yours. Okay. So I feel like you're going to be dealing with some opposition this week. But whatever is happening is whatever this this opposition is, it's a challenge. You're going to be dealing with a challenge. It is a challenge of accepting that somebody is walking away. And I don't think you're used to that. Okay, I don't think you're used to this person walking away. This person doesn't walk away. This person likes to fight. Okay, this person is a fighter. So I feel like you're going to be surprised that this person... Uh, walks away. I think it's absolutely a surprise. And it, you win. It's like you win. Okay, this is a win-win. It's a win. It is. It, it absolutely is. So it's a win. You, you're you about to win something. Uh, whatever it is. This is victory. These are both cards of victory and success. 
this is you being recognized or somebody that you're dealing with. There's, there could be some public recognition this week. Um, the fight is over. The battle is over. You're free. You're free to go wherever you want. I think you're going to need to control your emotions, okay, with that chariot card. I do think that there's going to be emotions and you will need to master your emotions this week. You may be uh, overwhelmed, okay. You may be overwhelmed with, uh, I don't know, <laughs> surprise. Maybe it's surprise. Maybe it's tears. Maybe it's sadness. Maybe, uh, you know, whatever it is, you're going to have to master your emotions. I mean, the freedom alone is going to be a shock to you. There's been some sort of lies here with the Eight of Swords reversed. Somebody has been in a state of of turmoil. This isn't this is letting go. It's letting go of the state of turmoil. It's 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 you're free. You're really, 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 really free. You're free from this situation. This is a big week. It's a big week of transformation because the chariot is a card of transformation. Some of you are moving, okay? You're moving somewhere, a moving away from your hometown or the person that you're that we're talking about is moving. You may be traveling. There could be an arrival here as well. Somebody could be coming in. Somebody could be traveling to you. Somebody could be coming to your house. You could be expecting a visit. Okay, you could get a visitor here. Um... We do have somebody that is leaving the past behind. There are ties that are being severed. You're about to be broken free from a situation that was very dissatisfying. It's a, and, and you don't have a choice. It's out of your control. Whoever is making this decision, is the decision is being made. You don't get to control it. You don't get a say. Somebody has been lying. Somebody has been lying. That's what we have here. They've been lying about their childhood or lying about their feelings. Clinging to the past, staying trapped in the past. Somebody was staying trapped in the past. The past wasn't bringing them any satisfaction. But there's somebody coming in here. If you are single and you have been trapped in the past, there is somebody coming in very, very fast. This could be your knight in shining armor. If you're single, okay? And you have been in a situation that caused you a lot of conflict. You were belittled. You were controlled. You were uh, defeated. You know, somebody somebody really brought you to your knees. There could be there's there could definitely be somebody new coming in here. This person is gonna is coming to the rescue. You're going to have to find strength. These are both cards. All these three cards are about strength. You're going to have to be really, really, really strong this week. 
and master your emotions. I think there's going to be memories because it's, ties are being severed with somebody that you used to love. Good luck. <laughs>